Thank you so much. Uh, it's great to be here in Shrewsbury. We've been uh, well schooled on how to pronounce it. I hope I did a good job. Um, like our uh, MC said, we did just come from the Tuna Festival. We, uh, ha has anyone ever been to that festival in Denmark? No. Well, no, you have. All right, good. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I would definitely say we did not return fresh from that festival. We had a great time, but. We did end up uh, bringing a lot of that spirit along with us. Last night, we, uh, we played our set over in the Sabrina Marquee, and went back to the hotel, and then we went out on the town, and we experienced some of Shrewsbury's finest pubs that are open at 2 in the morning, and 3 in the morning, and 4 in the morning, and even till what, 5.30 or 6, something like that? That was our own, own pub that we created at We our created hotel. our own pub. And a chip um, shop. We went to a chip shop. Look what you no. did to me. No, in all honesty, I always look like this. Um, I have been having some fiddle trouble. My fiddles, I thought it was hot in Louisiana, and uh, one of my fiddles has come unglued in two places somehow here at Shrewsbury, I guess. Maybe it's drier or something, but anyway. So you'll be seeing me tune my instrument a lot tonight. Hope you'll enjoy that. Um, we've got a bunch of people on stage I want to introduce, but uh, we'll take our time doing that right now. Um, the person who's going to sing to you next is... The lovely Kelly Jones from Raleigh, North Carolina, resident of Lafayette, Louisiana. Hello, everyone. Glad to be here. Good to see you all. I'm going to do a beautiful waltz now. It's something called The Last Waltz, La Danielle Waltz. But it's not the last waltz of the, the not evening, afternoon. But I was about to check the set list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that for you now.
Oh, merci beaucoup. Thank you, guys. How's everybody doing? It's way more fun if you dance, I promise. Um, has anyone ever asked if you were raised in a barn when you misbehaved? Do y'all say that here? If you do something impolite? Well, the next guy I'd like to introduce literally was raised in a barn. This is Mr. Jesse Leger from Gaydon, Louisiana. It's true. I want you to know that I cleared it with him before I said that. Uh, but Jesse has been playing this music for a very long time. It's a great honor to share the stage with him. Uh, he's a living legend. He's uh, one of the best accordion players and vocalists down in Louisiana, and uh, we're honored to be here. Going to feature him right now on a little number. What is it? You want to say something about it? Or no? No. I'll translate after he's done. It's called uh, it's called uh, Chicota Blue. It's uh, on the on the bayou, the banks of the bayou, and uh, going uh, fishing, catch all kind of good stuff and. Collect some firewood and even boil some snails. <laughs> you have great freshwater snails? I, wasn't, I actually wasn't raised in a barn, but I did sleep in a barn for some years. We had, we had with nine kids and a nine kids and mom and dad in a one room house, 14 by 28. Uh, no electricity till it was like 14 years old. But the story's close, and it's kind of like living in a barn. But it was good, it was all good. She caught the blue.
Anybody ever heard of Bruce Degrippa? Yeah. Bruce is a great uh, accordion player, songwriter down in Louisiana. You know, a lot of this music is early uh, traditional Cajun music, but Bruce has been writing a bunch of great songs, and we'd like to play you one of his right now. It's a song about a guy, I don't think he ever really was a millionaire, but he says, when I was a millionaire, I was a poor, uh, unfortunate person. And he, the song is all about how when he had money, he hated, he had all the women he wanted and everything he wanted, but he was always missing one thing, and until he met... The, he says, until I met Le, uh, La Veuve de, de la Riviere Rouge, until I met the widow of the Red River, I was always missing something in my life. And now I have no money, but I have the widow of the Red River, and I'm happy as I can be. So we're going to play it for you right now.
Are y'all as hot as I am, or is it just the lights or something? God, it's really hot. Maybe it's all that wine I drank last night. Who knows? Um, Couldn't be that. Couldn't be that. So we got a, a the newest buddy, a newest member of our group up here. Uh, I'm, I think we're not quite sure when we met each other, but uh, we remember meeting each other at the Shetland Folk Festival last summer. Right here from uh, Burlington, Vermont, on the guitar, percussion, and uh, more to be seen later is Mr. Tristan Henderson. Y'all please make him welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. Uh, the first time I remember meeting Tristan, we were standing in front of an elevator with about 300 musicians in this space about this big, all jamming together really late one night at the, uh, after one of the festival days. Oh, and yeah. uh, we, we just connected and I invited him to come down to Louisiana. And uh, Jesse came over and Kel came over. And uh, we worked on some songs and uh, this is one that we came up with, a little song. It's about uh, two people that have to uh, live with each other, but they're miserable together. We call it a miserable ensemble. I actually had this tune. Uh, I'd been messing around with this tune for some time, and uh, I never, I had the hardest time writing words. I've written a few songs, it took me forever to write the words to them. And I uh, had this tune in my head that Kelly wrote. Kelly came up with a we came up with the idea, but Kelly wrote the song, the words to this tune. We, wrote, we wrote it together. Miserable together. And we together. were miserable the whole time. Say <laughs> <laughs>
working on it. Um, we'd like to feature Tristan on this next one, show you one of his many metallic habits. Oh, tap talents. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, should I stay over there or should I come over there? Whatever you want. I don't know. It's a nice vista right here between us. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play my mustache right now. Otherwise, no one has a jaw harp. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna play this great tune called The Empty Bottle Stop. So if you got an empty bottle, go fill it up with something, your choice. Might recommend water, but might recommend beer. I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a fiddle. We'll just have to fill this space with music right here. Do you want to start or do you want me to? Oh, you go for it. You go for All it. Right. The empty bottle stop. Where's the stopping? No. <laughs> that sound. We uh, were at our friend's house in Wales the other night and uh, 
Tristan spotted, this is so random and weird to me, but Tristan spotted a record on the mantle, and it was a record, it was a classical record featuring the jaw heart. There's like this like Renaissance painting of a, it looks like a woman playing the jaw heart, but it's yeah, with yeah. this whole orchestra. So it's like the first 15 minutes of it or something, it's just the orchestra, and then all of a sudden you hear the jaw heart. The coming. soloist, the soloist. The yeah. soloist. It was, yeah, really it was cool. written by a German composer in the 1800s. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. But, it, you know, I have the CD at home because I do. And, um, <laughs> and, it, and I spotted that record. I bought, spotted that LP cover right away and said, there we go. We got to put that on. And there's even some dancing to it, too. It's a lot of fun. People were dancing. And, anyway. Yeah. Random little thing. You want to know the name of it? Come up to me afterwards, and we can talk about. It. I'll give you another five records of classical jaw harp music if you wish. So, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Um, we do want to hang out with y'all a little bit more. We're going to be here this afternoon for the uh, the folk. Uh, I don't know if it, what they call it, the folk jam, the big jam thing happening in here on the stage where we uh, get to share music with all the different artists that are still around at the end of the festival. So I hope you'll stick around for that. Also. Uh, there's a little red tent set up back here, and we happen to have brought a few records. If you uh, still buy music here in England, um, we would love to sit back there. We're going to uh, sign some CDs and talk to you and hang out. Uh, also, the city of Lafayette, where we come from, has sent over some, uh, some of these, some handkerchiefs, which probably come in handy um, for wiping sweat and stuff, but there's a bunch of these, and uh, they brought it there for free. We're going to be giving those out, and we have some pamphlets about uh, stuff in Louisiana if you're ever interested in coming down there. So please come visit with us uh, after the set back in the red tent. But right now, we've got more music coming. We'd like to introduce our buddy, one of our favorite musicians, Miss Vera Van Heringen, right here. He's going to come out, special guest. Vera's the one that had the jaw harp record on the mantle. It's her fault. It's a very special house that has a classical jaw harp music. You know? I'd never listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was trying to get Vera to sing a French song, but she'll, she said, I'll sing the one English song that Adam Hebert, who's a Cajun guy, Adam Hebert, she's singing the only English song that he ever recorded because she wouldn't sing a French yeah. song. But it comes from Louisiana. It's a Cajun song in English. It might be one of the only Cajun songs in English. It might be. So what is it called? It's called Tomorrow I'll Be Gone. No, my dear, for soon I won't be here. Don't wait for me, tomorrow I'll be gone. You made me love you so, now I have to go. Don't wait for me, tomorrow I'll be gone. Tomorrow I'll be gone
right through thick and thin Now I can't win There is no use for me to hang around It's plain to see you made a fool of me. Don't wait for me. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Oh, don't wait for me. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Awesome. Uh, two steps and called the uh, waffles. I have no idea what that means, but it's not a waffle.
How about our dancers up in the front? That's awesome. Thank y'all. Um, there's a great guy. We played a couple songs of his last night, a great guy named Jimmy C. Newman, who uh, kind of became a grand old Opry star, but he was from right in our neck of the woods. And uh, he wrote a lot of really sweet, simple uh, country songs. And uh, when he passed away, uh, Kelly and I and some friends made a tribute record to him. And Vera's going to sing you uh, the title track of that or one of the... Well, it's the first song on the record, actually. It's called You Didn't Have to Go by Mr. Jimmy C. Newman. I'm going to just start singing it. Anyone's a worth it. <laughs> I'm still over here just tuning anyway. So I don't have to tune. <laughs> Stand up here and make distracting noises. You know? And I've never seen you play the mandolin before. Oh, I've played it many times in private. <laughs> All right, we got time for a couple more songs for you. Thanks so much for uh, sitting in here. It's pretty darn hot in here, uh, but we're having a good time, aren't we? It's hot. I think it's Didn't we? Spiders. 
Kel's covered in spiders up here. We don't know what's happening. Uh, we went to Portugal and uh, spent a week in a castle with some friends. And Kel stole the record and uh, we brought it home. And I have a jukebox and a from record. An, from an attic. Not stole the record like from an attic. And the record ended up in the jukebox and it kept getting played by my little uh, six year old godchild who comes over and just pushes random buttons. And this one kept coming up. And uh, we, we fell in love with this song. It was a song written uh, or recorded by Petula Clark. Uh, in French in the 60s. And her version didn't sound anything like this, but uh, we, we made a Cajun <laughs> style fiddle version and uh, we hope you like it. In honor of the fact that Kel stole a 45 record in a castle, we printed this song on a 45. But don't so, steal it. But don't steal it. <laughs> I have two fiddles and I have to keep doing this.
Miss Kelly Jones, y'all. All right, we got time for one more. Thank you so much. We're gonna do something uh, a bit more lively for you now. Let's bring everybody. with the old switcheroo. We're going to feature Jesse on this last number. It's called the Bosco Stomp, also known as the Bosco Stomp, every now and then. It's an old accordion favorite down there. Hope y'all get down there sometime and check it out. 